So we left off here in this video we will learn how to edit uh, our data using model window we will change this uh, edit button here uh, this edit to an, a button when we click the edit it should open a model window and we should be able to edit this uh, category like swimming and the description so if we go to the code here we know we need uh, another model and we need to change the edit to a button so let's change it to button and now i will write it edit i will give it a class of btn btn hyphen maybe info for this example we just create a simple button here when i click on this it should open a new window like this one and it should pop populate the, the title and description as well uh, then we can update the data so if i click on this it should open a model we need a new model now I will just duplicate this model Control shift d on sublime text it will duplicate the same data in the downline now i can change the id let's change it to edit anything you want you can name it and then i will write this portion of the code here as well now the, this one should reference to edit model window as you can see it will open this window and i will just remove the form for now uh as you can see i have uh, i have extracted the form into another file here uh, in the previous video i didn't show you there is a file form php i just put all the form here as you can see the title and the descriptions are here so we don't need to repeat ourselves in in both model window we use the form here as well here as well that's why i just made another uh, file for this one and then I include it here. It is uh, the feature of Laravel that you can uh, include file like this. So it is the same way as we write these lines of code here. The bit it is uh, the better way to do this one. So it will just include the form for us here. Now if I just refresh the page, click on the edit, it will open the new category. It says new category, but it should open the second model window. As you can see. The second model is edit here and the first model is here it is new category this should be edit category and it should edit the category and we will save the changes as well here we have close and for now it's fine but we should change the action as well the for the update it should uh, send us to the update route as you can see uh, if we go to our http controller category controller come down we have our update here it should uh, send us here and the route for the update is going to be a little bit changed because when you update something it should uh, send the id of the file as well as you know it it's, it's, it will send us here but we will uh, use a trick to just manipulate the data for now we will pass something here as second parameter maybe mm, something like uh, like test anything you can pass if i come here and refresh the page and edit the form let's see it is edit category and i inspect the element okay here is our form as you can see it is category slash test it uh, normally it is the id of the category which people send but in this uh, the way we are going to do we are not going to send the id like this we will do something else so let's populate the data here as you know we, when you open a model window and event fire in bootstrap you can find that event if you go to the bootstrap documentation i am using the velocity it is just an off you can use the offline version of uh, any of those framework here if i come down to the model and uh, there is something like this it says if any model show model it, it when you open the model this event will fire and you can write the code here what i i am going to do is that when the 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 model it this one open i will uh, take the title and put it here and take the description from database and the, i will put that here as well so i'll close for now and let's uh, see how it is going to work i just copy this code since they are going to use jquery we should uh, uh, have jquery in our file which we have as you know if i come to the layout 
master we have our javascript file here all our javascript file by default they have jquery so i under this i will open another tag here then i will uh, paste the code here i come here copy it again then paste it here so what is our model name our model id here it was edit when it show this event will fire if uh, you want to check whether it is going to work or not i can just use console.log here and i will write model opened save it let's see if it is working i just refresh the page and let's open our console window as you can see there is nothing if i click on the edit yes model opened so now we we can detect that when the model open an event fire and we can take the title and put it on the in the input box uh, here so what i'm going to do is that there is a, uh, an example code is also there you can use this one which uh, i will clean it up now as you know it is an event uh, when you press the button it will send the data with the button so what we are going to do is here in our form we have our form uh, uh, no if i come up a little it is our master page we don't need this one here we have the button and we can uh, just take data like this one if i am going to use another custom html5 custom attribute let's say data like uh, my like anything like my title is equal to hello something like this i can take this data when someone click on this button so i will open the master again okay here it says that when someone click okay we don't need this one click on the button we detect that and we put the button uh, we uh, save the button on another variable the button we click then we can take data from that button as you can see button dot data data is the attribute we know and this is the the name of the attribute ours was it was my title i think uh, as you can see here is my title data will automatically will take data hyphen we uh, all we need to do is just to reference the name here the title as you can see data title it will take that and put it here i can just write it as a title variable here is just a variable now this uh, uh, this will take the the, the the data and put it in the title we can put it now inside our text form as we know this is an instance of our model window which open now what we are going to do is uh, going to use the find function and search inside our model and find the form and then we can put the title here here is a model body inside that one we are searching for an input if i open the form here is our title our title has an id of title so what i'm going to do here i say we have an id of title here find the title and put the value of the title inside that this time if i save it come here refresh the page i will just close this and click on the edit as you can see hello is here so it is fine that we put hello here uh, now that hello is written in our button if i right click here inspect element again click here as you can see my title is hello now what i will i i, I will replace the hello with the title with this title okay let's go to the code and do it here as you know we can reference our title here we can reference it in the same way here as well i will just write our code cat or the short for category title this time if i refresh the page edit now we have our swimming here for the second one also it is going to work edit yes web design because we have uh, another title for the second one it is another button click we have here let's create some more so that we can uh, work let's see we have a php php videos save the data now it should save it now we will create some more like css3 
num css3 save it now we have all of them now we can just edit them the way we want in the same way that we edit the title we can edit we, we can put the description as well so i will come here uh, okay after the title i will write data my this description i will come to the master page I, I i just create another variable here well we can just remove this extra comments that are here and i'll name it as my description and put it as this description here okay i will just you know our description form has also an id or no it does not have an id you can use the class name as well but i will give it an id of d e s s short for description anything you can put now this time i say take the value of the this and put description there as value now if i refresh the page this time i will come edit okay this is not working why let's see what is wrong with our code if i inspect element here click on the button okay we have our description as you know it is description but it does not have anything okay let me see yeah we have defined our description but okay sorry for this i have not written anything inside it i will just write cut this description here this time if i refresh the page we must have description here yeah this is the description for our first button this time if i click i can change it here as well the same way i can uh, edit cc3 and html5 when i press the save changes it is going to send me to that page which is going to give an error because it uh, the idea is something that we, i have written test it should not be test it should be the idea of that that's why we have put the test here so now we know that we can edit the our form like this i think it is uh, enough for this video in the next video we will work on how you can save data to the database using the same technique we have this, the new data here when i change something here it should change it to the database as well